What's up guys, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Today we're going to look at a new amp. That's right, we do old and new. And middle age, doesn't matter, we do all amps. Today we're going to look at the Pioneer GM D9601. This is a budget minded 1200 watt amplifier from Pioneer. And we thought that uh, we had a lot of comments about people wanting us to try this one. so. I picked one up, you can check the video description below and you can pick one up also and actually help our channel out while you're doing that. Um, but just to preface this review and the test, I did purchase this with my own money. This is not provided by Pioneer or sponsored in any way by Pioneer. This is my review for you guys. Sort of ironic with its name, Pioneer is a pioneer in the car audio industry. They've um, been around since late 70s, early 80s, and they've always been an innovative company and came out with, I believe it was the first removable faceplate on a radio back in the late 80s, early 90s. So they've always been kind of innovative and popular. They've always been a well-known brand, such as Rockford, Fosgate, and Kicker. Pioneer's always been kind of up there, you know, Sony also. For the car audio industry at least, Pioneer has always been one of the more popular brands. So the amplifier we're going to try out today, the GM D9601 is a 1200 watt budget minded amplifier at under $200 in the stores. Uh, very cost conscious for the budding bass head or somebody who just wants to add some thump to their car. One of these amps and a couple 12s and you've got a nice system. So let's look more at the amplifier and see what it's all about. You can see the exterior of this amplifier is pretty slick. The top looks like a carbon fiber type finish, although it's plastic. Looks very sleek. So on one end, you have the RCA ins and outs. You have the gain adjustment and the subwoofer level crossover adjustment. And then the remote base, yes. This under $200, 1200 watt amplifier actually comes with the base knob. They don't make you buy it separately, so that's very nice. On the other end, we have four gauge power and ground, remote turn on, and we have two outputs for speakers. Although this is a mono amplifier, it just helps if you have a dual voice coil subwoofer or multiple speakers to hook up to get to your one ohm load. And here are the internals of the 9601. I don't know about you, but it looks here like it's a much more quality amplifier than the price suggests. It has a lot of filtering caps, but we expect that with a class D amp. Again, the amp is rated 1200 watts at one ohm at 14.4 volts. According to the manual, that's at 100 hertz is what they tested at. So we're gonna be testing at 40 hertz today. So it's possible we may see some variation. We may not get the 1200 watts or maybe we will. What you say we check it out and let's find out. All right, so first up, we're gonna try the test at two ohms. This amplifier is rated 800 watts at two ohms, 14.4 volts at 100 hertz. Again, we run our test at 40 hertz and we go to 1% THD. So the certified test, we get 806 watts, 14.14 volts, 83.8 amps. Now we'll try the two ohm run uncertified. Again, this takes us up to clipping. You can see here 812 watts, just a little bit more, and 89.1 amps of current. Now we'll try dynamically at two ohms. This simulates music playback. You can see, nice. 943 watts at 14.25 volts. Next up, we'll try the one ohm load. Again, amplifier is rated 1200 watts at 14.4 at 100 hertz. We're gonna feed it 40 hertz, cause you wanna hear bass and not boom, you hear boom, not boom, boom. So this is the boom sound right here, I'm talking about 40 hertz. You big dummy. So here's the certified run up to 1% THD. We get 1206, so yes, we meet rated on a little more. 13.85 volts, 122.6 amps of current. Now we'll try the dynamic run, dynamic. So I'm talking about this is like speakers, like speakers are dynamic, dynamic, dynamic. There you go, 1768 watts at 14.18 volts. So very nice, 
Very good job, Pioneer. Way to go. Way not to overrate your amplifiers, even though your box is 2,400 watts. We'll let that slide maybe, since the manual says 1,200. But fix your box, really, seriously. Put 1,200 on your box. Max power means nothing. We don't care about max power. Stop putting max power on the boxes. You're confusing people. You will sell plenty of these amplifiers just based on price versus performance. That's what I say. Take off the 2400 watts off the box. All right, so while we were doing the test, we decided to try 0.8 ohms just to see you know, if it would do anything under one ohm. And we tried the dynamic test because dynamic tests usually will not hurt the amplifier since it's such a quick burst. And you can see here 1450 watts at 0.8 ohms. 14.54, so it dropped its power a little bit from the one ohm. That said, I would use this as a one ohm amplifier or more only, uh, two ohms, you know, one or two ohms, not at 0.8 or 0.5, because it's just not gonna perform well. But it does perform very well at one ohm. All right, so you can see here, the amplifier at four ohms is actually rated to do 500 watts. So that's the only ohm load where it fell a little short. We got 453. Uh, certified 460 up to clipping and 469 dynamic burst. Other than that, the two ohm and one ohm load, it beat its ratings at all the ohm loads, even with less than 14.4 volts. So overall, the amplifier did very well on the dyno. Uh, hooked it up to some speakers, sounded pretty good. So if you're looking for a budget-minded 1200 watt amplifier, check out this Pioneer GM D9601. Make sure you check the video description below I'll have a link where you can buy one, can help support my channel. I'd appreciate it. Big D Wiz, old schoolstereo.com, testing new amplifiers. That's what I told you, new, old, pro, mini, it don't matter, we test them all, and we do more than just amplifiers. Till next time, I'm out of here. Sorry. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that Pioneer video from the early 90s. It's pretty cool. Thought you guys would appreciate that. Check the video description. I have links to several other old school Pioneer commercials back from the 80s and 90s. Those are really cool.